Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful overcast day here in North Texas and I want to show you my flower bed. This is front house flower bed and this right now kind of started to open up. Um, all my uh, lilies are done blooming and as you can see this is what tops of my lilies look like. I didn't cut them all the way to the ground because if you cut all this stem all the way to the ground <laughs> my goodness I get bikers here sometimes <laughs> so if I cut a uh, lily bulb all the way to the ground um, I would not um, that bulb will not store energy for next year and I will be have much weaker bloom or maybe not bloom at all and look at this one this lily was hiding in the back way 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 in the back so this is last lily that blooming right now in my garden but it's beautiful it's kind of surprised me you know it's kind of like a uh, late, late surprise that you didn't expect so uh this right now what is started to open up is a black eye susan black eye susan i did all the way border at the front edge of my flower bed so that way it's all the way same flowers, same colors, yellow. I got this um, Black Eyed Susan about uh, five years ago from my garden friend. And um, I just divide them. Every year I divide them more and more and more. And they're just uh, loving it. It's space. Uh, Black Eyed Susan, very love. Uh, as much sun as possible as you can give them and they will be very very happy so yeah my fr fl uh, front board is a black eye susan uh then it's go my lilies that i done and then after that it's a flux this is one of the old type flux that um um what it's called original flux i called it um that is um easy to propagate easy to grow easy to spread beautiful beautiful perennial i love it so much now that is a flux too and that one i got on one of the garden tours uh, and i got it but it's don't dividing it's don't uh, spreading as my this other pink one so but i like contrast of uh, that one and all the way pink one it's kind of look like that one is a glowing so this year this flower bed is uh, nicely surprised me uh, we have expression don't have space for apple to fall down because it's so full just full of flowers so what I did different this year I add compost and I add a little bit different fertilizer and my flower bed just exploded and I love it Here's a canacea. For some reason, it's just fell down forward. And this white one is a gara. Beautiful, beautiful gara. And this one is a flux too. A little bit different one. Don't know the name of it. But on the one little beautiful flower blooming. This is uh, hardy hibiscus. This hardy hibiscus, this is basically the highest it will get. It's only three feet tall. And flowers not as big as my other ones. And that the yellow and orange that's a canna uh, this is canna is uh, I got from my friend too they're growing like a crazy they're about right now six feet tall yes and this canna I don't know if it's ever will bloom it should be much taller but it's kind of in a shade so it don't have too much sun so maybe it will not bloom at all so or what I probably have will be leaves impatience are doing well my dusty miller not so much so what happened to my dusty miller it's only my theory um 
right now it's very hot it's summer and I'm watering every day uh, supplement water from a hose and lots of times I just spray on top of a Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller do not like to be foliage be sprayed with water on top it's like to go in its roots not on the leaves so that's probably what happened to my you know, Dusty Miller it's just so I need to uh, will replace it so I need to replace it um, later in the season with different Dusty Miller and dry water more carefully because I do like that silver plant in the back it was so gorgeous I love this pasta I already fertilized some patients, so they started setting up more blooms, but I very love the way it's blooming this year, gorgeous. So yeah, this year my flower bed is just full. Now last year I tried to get rid of this <laughs> plant palm tree, don't remember the name of it, but uh, apparently little root is left there and it stayed and decided, okay, I'm just gonna pop out back again. This is Monarda, it's about three feet tall. This is one of the original Monarda, um, so it's tall. I uh, have a smell kind of like um, mint. Uh, Monarda is in a mint family. Uh, this Monarda, oh, I have in the backyard and it's spread a little bit more and bigger than this one, but I'm still liking it. This green is, uh, I think it's called Chinese Aster, so it will be bloom in the fall. It's a perennial if you put in the full sun and um, watering and fertilizing, it will bloom like crazy for you. My banana cream Shasta Daisy is uh, that's all little clump I have left. Another one I already told you guys in my video. I think I killed it with uh, fertilizer. Maybe. Shasta Daisy don't like uh, fertilizer in the middle of a season. Maybe it's one and a half only early, early in the spring. I don't know. I guess lesson to learn for me. It's a zinnias. Zinnias popping by themselves. I don't see them. They're just growing. <laughs> this is a purple uh, heart plant. Uh, I toyed with idea. I have here. And then I have two more over there. Uh, so I was thinking maybe extend my flower bed another foot forward and plant purple heart so it's be border like this flower bed. So all in front of this um, black eye Susan will be a purple heart. So I'm still toying with this idea. I didn't decide it for sure if I wanted to do that or not still thinking about but while I'm thinking about I just propagating my purple heart and uh, it's look amazing even those little clumps you know just to tuck it in um, I just put them in the water and that's it and then about months they'll give me plenty of um, plenty of roots and I can plant them I like that uh, gazing ball blue one in the back so pretty I started liking it some blue accents in a garden they look pretty so yeah but yeah so this is my flower bed uh, usually in the past um, um, black eye Susan was blooming all the way fully in front and only then flocks open up but I think with our crazy weather uh, they're kind of started blooming at the same time now this particular pink fox is smell heavenly uh, it smell like a honey to me and every time especially freshly opened flowers they smell like honey so when I walk into my door I smell that and it's beautiful kind of not invasive to me at least I don't know nobody who kind of don't like the smell but yeah this is my flower bed of my front house. 
I'm loving it how it's look. Like I said, it's totally different look than last year. I'm backing up all the way to the corner. I want to show you guys how it's look from the corner. So this is pretty much it. Look beautiful. I love it. You can see that yellow. You can see that pink. You can see all of it. And of course, cars driving. <laughs> And um, so Black Eyed Susan will bloom for me another month and a half and uh, that flux, pink flux, will bloom for me till end of a September. So July, August, September, three months. So that's why I really like this flux. And this flux, I actually started all of it. I started from only quarter of gallon, one flower pot, that's it my friend gave it to me and all of that and here actually a lot of that here they're not even open up yet you can see like these spikes that's they're not even open up yet so I have much more flowers will come here and all of this will be like a sea of pink which is I love in it I so much love in it and this one now why this one is not open up yet because they're kind of more in the shade not too much, but they're kind of in shade. Ah, uh, flux, love, sun. Yes, there are no doubt about that. It's love, sun, but it's also will show you if it's need supplement water. So, for example, when it's very hot here and um, it's on the sun, its leaves are wilting down and going very close to the stem. But if you give them water. And by evening time, it's for sure it will perk up and will look as fresh as it could be. So that's why I watering this flower bed with um, uh, water hose. And um, that's how I'm watering because um, I don't want to water my grass as much as my flower bed every day. Grass don't need so much water, at least I think you don't need it. Uh, but my flower bed for sure needed so that's why i'm watering lots of my neighbors laughing they says well you it's kind of therapeutic for you to water your plants i'm like yeah i do love my flowers i want them look the best and uh, yeah i don't mind to watering them it's just you know you want to have beautiful garden beautiful flowers you need work but because I love them, this is geranium, just tucked in. But because I love it, I don't count as a, as a work, it's kind of like therapeutic. Love my flower bed. Now my, um, what's, what's the, those purple bushes in the back, Loripetalum. They're coming back after winter and I see there's some, um, um, forgot that vine uh, oh my goodness mm. passion passion wine passion wine and look at that it's going all the way up on a tree I don't know if it's gonna give me any blooms on it because it's need to have, um, it's need to have sun for it but yeah it's kind of tangling everything and it's popping everywhere so beware of for passion flower it's very invasive and then it's spreading like crazy so now I cannot get rid of it nowhere yeah this um, um, bee balm or monarda I can trim down and if I keep watering it just will do side buds and let me show you it will do side buds and will uh, prolong blooming I did have uh, some that were on uh, from proven winners and um, they died there was in front of my flower bed and they're just smothered by plants and they died so that's one reason I was kind of unhappy they bought so much plants I was have right here in front but yeah it's kind of gunners but yeah this one's if I cut it down will spend blooms it will um, See like all these side ones 
yeah and it's kind of like flopping like flop over because it's so tall it's if you just plant only that one it will love to flop down so you have to need staking but because it's around flux about same height it's just holding each other so i don't really need staking for that and uh, my uh, beautiful blue and white salvia are done blooming so all what i know here is uh, this dry stakes can cut them down um or cut it down all the way i don't know kind of thinking about don't know for sure if i wanted to do that i like this little one because it's well sticking out for it further if you look in that way it's just beautiful like i said one of my favorite flowers but i did in the past order online and when i order an online they're not as um, growing fast um kind of couldn't divide them as fast they're not spreading as fast and grow not as tall so this is one of my favorite one of my favorite flowers in my garden well, thank you guys so much for watching this video with me. I'm very happy to share with you my flower bed. I will do more when uh, Zinnia, what, Black Eyed Susan will be open more. And when Flux will be open more because it's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. But for now, stay safe. Happy 4th of July. And see you next time. Bye.